Hey folks, what's up? You know I'm tech guy. I always love trying different kinds of operating system. Last time I have installed OpenWRT on my Wi-Fi router 4. Then I realized we can also install Padawan on it because the Mediatek processor is supported by Padawan as well. Padawan is a Linux distribution that is adopted by many people. It works very well with Mediatek processors. But the problem is that I don't find any pre-compiled Padawan image on Bitbucket or GitHub for my Wi-Fi router 4. All these ones are for Asus routers. Maybe I have to compile from the source code. Originally, the Padawan project is hosted on Bitbucket, but I see it has not been updated for years, so we better choose the newer one on GitHub. This one is not the original Padawan. It is claimed to GitHub by somebody. But at least this one claims to support my Wi-Fi router 4, and all the board information has been added into the repo. Actually, I don't know the details of the router board, but we can't do the compile job if the board information is missing. So it's really nice the developers have done that for us. Last time I compiled OpenWT with the Cloud Watch Machine. I guess you know what is Cloud what is Watch Machine, right? It worked very well. So this time I'll use a cloud watch machine to compile again. Let's jump into it. The Padawan instruction is quite straightforward. We only need to pull down the source code, install necessary tools, build toolchain, and uh, compile firmware. Only four steps. Very simple. Let's log in the cloud watch machine and pull down the source code to the opt directory as documented. It requires some permissions to write in the opt directory, so we better do that with sudo command. sudo will give you the root privilege. I'll use the source code from this new repo. Pull it down with git command. It should be very fast. A few moments later. After the code is pulled down, we need to install the necessary tools. We better install these ones as required by the new repo. We will need to use these tools to compile. apt update and apt install. That is the way of installing software for Linux machines. Okay, now everything is ready. We just need to build the toolchain, then build the firmware. That is easy enough. At least we don't need to update the fees, right? In another word, we don't have the option to update the fees, which means there are not that many third-party softwares like OpenWRT has. Okay, we see the into the toolchain directory. Scripts from this new repo has been modified here. We can't exactly follow the original menu. So we run this clean toolchain script and the build toolchain script. Of course, we need to do that with sudo. This is the opt directory, not the tmp directory. Everything we do here requires root privilege, alright? It will take half an hour to build the toolchain, and the time depends on the specifications of the cloud virtual machine. I'm using a VM with 2 cores and 4 gigs memory. If your virtual machine has more cores, it will be faster. A few moments later. After the toolchain is created, we move over to the truck directory. In this directory is the real source code. And we see there are many templates in the configs directory. My Wi-Fi router 4 is just one of them, which means it's supported. If you don't find your device in this folder, most likely it's not supported by Padawan. And the default settings are configured in this file. If you want to change the default language, you can do that by editing this file. I'll just add the English language. Alright? If you want to include some extra software, you also edit this file. For example, if you want to have HTTPS, just replace no with yes. Remember to save it. Just use your favorite text editor, right? Where I am on Nano, that is your call. I'm not familiar with Nano, so just stick with where I am. 
Now I guess we need to run this build firmware modify script to compile. Looks like it is an update from the original build firmware script, which should make life easier. We better do that in a new screen. I'm sure that will take a long time. Screen could avoid it from disruption. A few moments later. Okay, now the job is done. It doesn't take that much time as I expected. <laughs> I thought it would take at least 4 hours, but actually it took only half an hour. The firmware is in the trunk, images directory. The format is TRX. We can download it to the desktop. Actually, I'm not sure if this firmware works or not. No one really knows if there's anything wrong with the firmware until you flash it on the router. But anyway, you can always revert to factory status with TFTP if things go wrong. I think Pada1 is much better than the stock firmware because it has more features. So what do you think of the Pada1 firmware? Will you install it on your router? Leave your comments below. Alright, that is all for this video. Now you should have an idea how easy it is to compile Padawan firmware. In next video, I'll try to install it on the router. Stay tuned, bye bye!